Hi everybody. In this lesson I want to talk about the algebra of functions. Now given a specific uh, value of x, we know that a function f of x or g of x represents a real number. So it should therefore make sense that, that uh, whatever we do to numbers we should also be able to do to functions. Namely we could add them, subtract them, multiply, and divide them. So uh, in this brief lesson we want to look at um, the language that's used to describe this algebra function. So let's start out with a function f of x uh, equal to 2x minus 1. So this is the function that will double whatever you put into it and then subtract 1 from that. And then have another function g that's going to multiply whatever you put into it by negative 3 and then add 4. So I know that f of 2, if I plug 2 into the function f, I'm going to get 2 times 2 is 4 and 4 minus 1 is is 3 and if I plug 2 into the function g I'm going to multiply the uh, the 2 by negative 3 and then add 4 so that's going to give me negative 6 plus 4 is a negative 2 okay well <clears throat> notice we can come up with a new function uh, by simply adding the function f and the function g so so this notation f plus g of x that means simply the function f at x plus the function g at x. So that would be this function 2x plus 1, uh, minus 1 it should be, um, 2x minus 1, plus this function uh, negative 3x plus 4. So we just add those together, combine your like terms like you'd expect, and you get you know negative x plus three. All right. Now, if I wanted to to find f plus g of two, then I could do that two ways. I could either come over here and plug two into this function, uh, so I know that f plus g of two is just going to be a negative two plus three, which is one, or I could do sort of like I did over here. This just means means f of 2 plus g of 2. And of course, f of 2, we did that up here. That's 3. And g of 2 is negative 2. And if you add those together, uh, it's a miracle. Of course, you get the, the same thing there. All right? And we can do that with, with all of the operations. So for example, if I wanted f minus g of x, that would just be f of x minus g of x and so that's going to be this function 2x minus 1 and then I'll have to subtract the negative 3x plus 4 so if I work that through I'm going to get 2x and then uh, minus the 1 and then minus the minus is plus 3x and minus the 4 so that simplifies to give us what 5x minus 5 and if I wanted to find f minus g of 2 then I could just plug 2 into this new function, which is 5 times 2 minus 5. So what's that? 10 minus 5 is, is equal to 5. Or I could do f of 2 minus g of 2. I could do it separately. Plug 2 into the function f like we did up here. Uh, that gives me 3. Um, and then plug 2 into the function g like we did up here. That's negative 2. And of course, if I subtract those, I get 5, and that's the same thing that I, that I got before. Okay, as we'd expect. And I can do that with uh, multiplying and dividing as well. So f times g of x, that's just going to be f of x times g of x. So that's going to give me a uh, 2x minus 1. times the negative uh, 3x plus 4. And here I'll have to use the FOIL property to multiply these two binomials. That's going to give me a negative 6x squared for the first ones when I multiply those two together. And then the 2x times the 4, that's 8x. And when I do the inner ones, negative 1 times negative 3, that's 3x. So that would be plus 11x when I combine the outers and the inners and negative 1 times 4 is negative 4. So here's a new function that's the product of these two functions. And if I wanted to find f times g of 2, then I have to plug 2 in here. Negative 6 times you know, 2 squared 
plus 11 times 2 minus 4. And so that gives me what? Um, negative 24 here. Um, 2 squared is 4 times negative 6, negative 24. Plus 22 is negative 2, and negative 2 minus 4 is a negative 6. Uh, in this case, it would have been easier to just do f of 2 times g of 2. Remember, up above here, we saw that f of 2 was equal to 3, and g of 2 was negative 2. And sure enough, I get the same value, negative 6. Okay, uh, and the last one, just for completeness, so we'll do the same thing, f over g of x. That just means the function f of x divided by the function g of x. So that would be 2x minus 1 over the negative 3x plus 4. Um, and so if I wanted to know what f over g of 2 was, I could plug that in, right? 2 times 2 minus 1, that's going to give you... You know, 3 on the top and negative 3 times 2 plus 4 on the bottom. What's that? 3 over negative 2. And of course, that's the thing, same thing as if I would have just done f of 2 over g of 2. You remember f of 2 was equal to 3 and g of 2 was equal to negative 2. So you get the same thing either way.